up guys today I'm making a simple video on how to legit check your Jordan ones I recently saw a post on Facebook about a pair of fragment Jordan ones and uh, I knew they were fake and I actually left a post on the a comment on the post saying that the shoes were fake they were frag Jordan ones and the person wanted $700 and I was the first person to comment and I commented fake nobody listened to me a few days later the shoes were purchased and a post was put up putting the person on blast or complaining to the person that the shoes were fake and that they wanted their $700 back but the, the kid or the person who had purchased the shoes gifted the payment to the owner of the, of to the original order owner of the fake frags, so he screwed. So he screwed out at seven hundred dollars, and that really sucks. Like I really don't want, don't like seeing people get screwed out their money. So I'm making a video to show you guys some of the things to look for when you're purchasing Jordan ones. There are tons of fakes of Jordan ones on the market, and they're actually getting better and better and better. So. This is what this and this video is for. So in front of you, I have four pairs of Jordan ones. I have the Dover Street Market, the Chicago Jordan ones, the UNC Jordan ones, and the Shattered Backwards. It is important to note that these are supposedly remastered Jordan ones. Therefore, there's going to be a difference between these Jordan ones and the Jordan ones of previous models such as the breads and the royals and I will explain those differences as I go in this video because they are very important in being able to tell the remastered Jordans from the old Jordans now one thing okay the first thing you want to look for when is trying to see if your Jordan ones are fake now you have to know the first thing you have to know are these remastered Jordan ones now, by remaster, the easiest way to tell is, are they the Jordan ones that were released in 2015 going up, or are they previous models below 2015? Now, the only exception to this rule is the Fragment Jordan ones. The Fragment Jordan ones were released in 2014, around Christmas. But those are remastered. Those were actually the first remastered Jordans to release. Now, it is very important because you have this peak. In all Jordan 1s that are remastered, Shadow Backwards, UNC's, Double Street Markets, and Chicago's, the peak, as you can see, goes all the way up. And it's above the check. It stops around right there in this spot. If you have a pair of any of these shoes of these remastered Jordans and the peak goes down here or stops down here, they're instantly fake. Now that is the easiest way that I was able to tell that the fragments that the kid was selling were fake because the peak was down here. For example, now you have to be able to know that the peak being down there is correct on pre the pre-remastered Jordan ones such as Breads Royals, any Jordan Mids and the Pinnacle Jordan ones for example I have the black Pinnacle Jordan one in front of me now this may be difficult to tell because it's black but you see the stitching goes up right here and this is the check and the stitching see if I can get a better picture stops right there then it crosses over it's very hard to tell because it's a black shoe and I have all my other Jordan ones in storage but it stops right there now that is extremely important if it's a remastered Jordan 1 it should be up here if it's not, it should be down there. Now, another thing about the stitching on the check is, the st you see how the stitching always goes above? 
the Jordan check, this is equivalent on all Jordan models, Jordan 1 models. It goes above it. For example, you have the Dover Street Markets right here. The stitching is above it. You have the UNCs. The stitching is above it and you can see right there that the peak is on top of the check. And you have the chatter backwards, stitching is above it and the peak is up here. By the way guys, I am 100% sure that all these shoes are legit. So, because I purchased them by myself from Foot Locker, Foot Champs, Flight 23, or whatever. Another way if to tell if shoes are dead stock, DS, brand new, when you look at the lace bag, I'm going to try to get it right there. The whole of the lace bag should be above, above this white line. It should not be below it and it should not be up here a lot of times the hole is down there up here it should be slightly above it and that is a good way of telling that's actually a recent way of telling because they have not fixed that in any of the fix I have seen on the market another good way to tell if your Jordan ones are fake or legit is by the Jordan one stamp now you see how shiny the Jordan 1 stamp is, the air wing, the wings logo, it is extremely and shiny and sharp. The edges are sharp, especially this corner right here is very sharp, it's very well defined. And when you see it in person and you feel it, it feels as if it was pressed on, it was like stamped on. It feels, you can see it in, um, in, in dinch, uh, induction into the leather. And you can actually see the curves. Now this is very important. Some of the fakes that are out there don't have a well-defined Jordan Wings logo. And this is a good way of knowing. And as you, as you can tell, I told you before. Uh, the, the, the hole is above it. Not below it. Below it, uh, above this line. Another good way of telling, and this is especially on, let's say, on Jordan, on Chicago, on the Chicago's, and even Brad's and Royals, when you touch the leather, and you look at the leather, it's a wrinkle when you put your finger down on it. So look, this is my finger. I, I can't get it. And you can see it's wrinkling. It has a slight wrinkle to the leather. And that means that it, the leather is not made out of plastic. And it's very good. It's a good sign. Especially if you're um, checking out the shoes in person. That's a very good sign. Now, another good sign is the curve in the back of the shoes. The curve should be sloping down, it should be well defined, but that's sometimes hard to tell, but I've realized that some of the fakes have this little triangular peak in the leather right here, and that is made when the leather is cut. Authentic Jordan ones don't have any little peak right here at all. And another thing is, this little end peak right here should go straight up. I line up with the middle of the shoe and also this little back where the back tab is supposed to be it should be thin not thick it shouldn't be this thick it should be thin just like this the peak being above the check should also be on this side on the lateral side of the shoe so on both sides the peak should be above the check as you see right here. Now, another way of telling that if your Jordan ones are legitimate or fake is the inner tag. Now, for some reason, fake Jordan ones, 
especially the remastered ones, still have the tag here. And when I say, when I say tag, I mean it's this tag. It's inner tag. My size is a size 14. Now, the tag should not be here. On the Breads, Royals, Shadows, and previous to the remastered Jordan 1s, the tag is here. But when they remastered them, the tag came down here. Another good way of telling is by looking under the insole. Now, the insole, I don't know if I could get this, I'll get this for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Should be down there, but it shouldn't be too glued on. It should be slightly glued on, and you see how I'm able to pick it up? Yes, that's something what you want to see. You don't want to see too. You you don't want to have too much glue, and that is another good way of telling. If your shoes smell like strong glue, like a lot of glue, your shoes are most likely fake. Like that is something that has been consistent on all Jordan One models. Your shoes should smell kind of like, a little bit like glue, but it should not have this outrageous strong scent of glue. When you're looking at the front of the shoe, and you're looking at the Nike Air, the Nike Air sometimes shows, and you flatten it, sometimes shows a little bit of the wording on top. Now, this is an if above way of telling if your Jordan ones are fake or legitimate because you would see that this is not consistent with these Dover Street Market. Now your Jordan 1 should show a little bit and it should be on the second line. Right here on the second line. Now that's a kind of a good way of being able to tell if your shoes are legitimate or fake but as you will see with these Jordan 1 Dover Streets uh, my shoe is completely jacked up. I, when, you, when you look at it, you can see that the tag is a little bit too down. So that's not a surefire way of knowing if these are legitimate or fake. Another good way of telling is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the stitching down here. It should be parallel to this back leather piece. It should be going straight up. And it should be pa completely parallel. Like the distance between this and this, this, between this piece of leather and this stitching does not change. It continues to be the same until it reaches up here. It does never change. It never goes this way or that way. It just goes straight up. And you can see that it's the same on all remastered Jordan 1 models. On this one, it goes straight up. And on this one, it also goes straight up. Another good way of telling is the placement of the lace, the front lace, to the bottom leather. Now, this is very, it's not tricky, but look. If you get your finger and you have the front lace and it's completely straight and you press it down, the lace should line up with the stitching on top and it barely have a little gap. You see how it has a slight gap? That's a good way. Your laces should, should not be down here showing this much. And this is a surefire way of knowing if your joints are fake or real. It should be right here. And you can see that this is consistent on all of them. You see the stitching? And you press it down right there. And on this one as well, press it down. Sorry, I don't want to look like I'm cheating. Press it down, down, and there it is. Now, the last good way that I know of knowing if you're, of these are legitimate or fake is... And these holes, the perforation holes in the toe box. Now, imagine if these holes were to continue. 
if they were just to continue. They would continuously go and they'll probably end up somewhere down here. In fake pairs, the holes are a little bit down. So if you draw a line, the holes will probably finish right here. So these holes will probably be right here, leaving a big cap of white leather there. That's a good way of knowing as well if your Jordan 1s are legitimate or not. So guys, um, I hope this video helps anybody, somebody that's out there trying to purchase these shoes. I know these shoes are very expensive and I would not want anybody who is buying these shoes to end up buying a, a fake pair because these shoes are expensive and it's not fair. So have a nice day. Please rate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this show, share it with somebody. If you like this video, share it with somebody. If you're thinking about purchasing, purchase, purchasing a pair of Jordan 1s, look this video over. Look at these little things that I pointed out and see if the pair that you're planning on purchasing checks out. Have a nice day.